All right, cool. Okay, it's so recording. So welcome everyone to the first or to the first as we reset the counter JS IPFS core dev team weekly hangout. Um, the purpose of this call or the reason why we are bringing these calls back is so that we can find, um, we can understand where everyone's minds are, uh, that we can understand what are our priorities and that we can adjust our priorities and, and, and then try what, what people are being blocked on so that we can unblock them faster. Um, one of the results of this call is that also the community will be able to understand what is being hacked, like what is being developed. So uh, as it happened in the past, and like for those of you that have joined like the IPFS projects in the last six months that ever saw these calls working, uh, one of the things that happened in, in like last, one year ago was that multiple contributors would join for a couple of calls or maybe even a week, uh, a month, and they would help us achieve certain goal by joining our sprints. And then they will just like take off and like go on with their lives and like hack on their projects. And that was because we had this moment to sync up, to identify the priorities, to identify the problems and so on. Um, and so um, today, because it's the first, we'll do just like a little warm up, just like make sure that everyone understands what are our expectations and also that we uh, like share what we expect to get from this call. But um, in the future, in the future, uh, what I expect is that this call to be very fast paced where everyone just like goes around and like shares what they have accomplished the week before uh, and tells us, informs the rest of the group what they want to focus on the following week. So, so it's a weekly stand up. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we, we don't do it daily because it's really expensive on people's time to do a daily distributed uh, stand up. Um, but we have experimented with weekly and worked pretty well in the past. Um, and, and yeah, like we can always adjust and like understand if this still works, if this is still the right pattern and, and upgrade. And so I posted here the link to the crypto with the agenda for today. Uh, this is what I have in mind. If you would, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, uh, please do so by uh, adding it to the agenda. Um, and if someone would like to volunteer to be the note taker for this call, it would be really much appreciated. Would someone like to, or we can, um, all right, okay, so, can, can we can we have someone that is uh, available to take notes just to, to make sure that we have um, well notes to share? Okay, I can try to take notes, and if I'm not fast enough to take notes and speak, uh, I'll just check the recording and write the notes down. Um, cool, 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 cool. So, um, Volker, I can do it. Okay, I will so take. It. I will take it in. Sweet. All right, so I kind of already went through the first item of the agenda, like what are the goals with this call? So far, so good, like everyone makes sense to everyone? Cool, so um, the way that I expect these calls to function is again, we do a run of updates, everyone says what they have accomplished last week, we, this, like we let people describe what they got blocked and what they want to work on next. Um, after like everyone gets the, the chance to share uh, these three things, um, we will make sure like we will just like review it and make sure that we all agree that those things are the most important. And we have if we have time left, uh, we will just go to the waffle board and uh, identify issues that are top priority that uh, we probably should be thinking about, but like no one is thinking about. Um, and, and just to give you like a view into what is our waffle board. All right, can everyone see the, the waffle board window? Uh, Can't read it. Yeah, okay, cool. So this <laughs> waffle board, is everyone familiar with the waffle board uh, for Uh Can I see, like, and is this the first time you are looking at it? 
Okay, I see some people smiling, so I, I guess it's the first time. Is that? <laughs> am I reading that correctly? Okay. <laughs> All right. So perfect. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that people were familiar with Waffle Board, and so let me explain how we organize uh, our issues in the JSIPVS project. We we have five columns: inbox, backlog, ready, in progress, and done. Uh, all the issues, all the PRs that get created to the project, and we are tracking, uh, let me show you, we are tracking every single repo on the JSPFS project. So it's not just the top level module. Uh, and you can see there's IPLD stuff here, there's multi formats, there is IPFS. Leap peer to peer is not tracked here. Leap peer to peer is tracked on its own waffle board, and you can access it by replacing Leap peer to peer and, well, just Leap peer to peer. I'm not going to do that because the waffle board tends and like i guess you will see this now okay this was fast uh because we have attached so many repos to one waffle board sometimes you might experience the waffle board to take a little bit of time to load uh, and so be careful with opening and closing the waffle board like once you load it you want just to keep it open um because all the updates that follow will uh, happen in real time and you can see like the the issues moving from these columns so everything that gets open goes to inbox. Uh, from the inbox, typically I do the work of reviewing the issue and assigning things like priority. And you can see these labels P1 to P2 to, well, there are others. Uh, it's like from P0 to P4. So P0, the most critical, most urgent, to P4, <laughs> less critical, less urgent. Uh, some of these issues get tagged with difficulty um, when it is possible. And of course, difficulty, hard, difficulty, easy, difficulty, moderate is really just a like best guess for me. Uh, and it is basically my way of telling everyone that is following the project that, hey, there is an issue that given the understanding of the whole stack of IPFS should not take you too much to figure out if it's difficulty easy. And, and my, my expectation, if, like, if there is an issue with that label, like, it should take you less than a morning. Like, you should not be, have to like, go over 10 repos. You should not have to do like, very complex setup steps. It, it should be something that is contained that like, in less than like, four hours, you should be able to tackle that issue. Like, understand what is the problem at hand um, and tackle that issue. There is a, um, an extra label that typically gets added. Uh, to these issues with the, the difficulty tag, which is L pointed. And L pointed means that the issue has enough information or should have the, the enough information for a contributor that is not familiar with the project to understand what is the real problem, like to understand what that uh, issue is about. And, and from that to gather the rest of the information he needs to, to solve the issue. If an issue is not tagged with help wanted, then it means that probably there's like information that is not present there and you can still try to solve it. You can like be brave and just like jump it in, but it might be harder. So far so good, like I'm trying to like scroll through all the faces, just make sure everyone is still following. Okay, cool. I see some smiles, some thumbs up. That's perfect. And so, when I receive issues on the inbox and you can see there's like 10 new issues that I still haven't reviewed, I tag them, I move them to the ready column if they are ready to be worked on. If there is some issue that is just like a big body of work and like is dependent on something else, like a specification to be written, like something that basically requires a lot of work from a lot of other people, I put it on the backlog. So it's backlog is kind of like things that are not really ready to be worked on, not ready to be picked up. I've been also putting the issues with questions here because typically issues that are questions, I give an answer or like someone in the community gives an answer and then we wait a little bit to see if the, the, the person that opened the issue um, as like is successful at using that answer to solve that problem. And if it is, if that happens then we close the issue, if not, we keep like having a discussion, but, but it, it's more like a, a slow paced issue, like so that it gets put in the backlog so it doesn't consume um, our attention from the ready column. When it's on the ready column, you can see you have like 184 issues open, ready to be consumed. It means like there, all this work is here for people to do and no one, is at this moment in time 
working on it. Um, which is the difference from the in progress column. In progress means that there is some work that needs to be done and there is a person assigned and that person is currently focusing on that issue at hand. And so one of the things, uh, and this is like a really important detail, right? Because it is not useful for the community and for the team to uh, see someone tagged to like 10 different issues um, if they are different types of work. For example, we see here that like Victor has a bunch of issues that say updating CI files, but that is really just like one thread of work. So it is okay for him to have like a bunch of issues because, well, like that thread of work just requires him to mess with a bunch of repos. But if you have multiple things that you are talking about, like a feature or a bug fix, and if you have multiple of those in the in progress column, probably it means that like your attention is being spread too thin over multiple things. And, and you are locking that work from being worked by someone else. So the, the good practice, the best practice here is like if you are working on, for example, BitSwap, and you have three more issues, DHT and Relay, you should move those issues to the ready column so that someone else can pick it up while you focus on the BitSwap. Make sense? Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, by the way, feel free to interrupt me and ask questions or like make suggestions. Uh, uh, cool. Uh, once an issue is done, so and and that means like the issue is closed or a PR request is merged, the waffle board moves it automatically to the down column, um, and and like they stay here for a week. So after a week of them being done, uh, they disappear from the down column, uh, and so. So yeah, we can always archive it at any point in time, but the fact that like it's a weak pace makes it really useful for us to come back like in the next weekly call and like just review everything that was done, everything that was worked on. Um, it, it is a good way for us to learn what was achieved. Uh, and, and if there was some piece of work that was done that now unblocks me. And so overall, like this is a pretty useful tool, pretty good way to see the work that is available. You can use filters. One of my best, like my favorite filters is really just going here and putting the P0 label. And I like see, you can see there's like a lot of stuff that is critical now for the, well, <laughs> the project. Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff that need people to, to work on it. <laughs> um, of course, like there might be some issues that are not your domain expertise or that like you are already so in so deep in something else that like shifting your focus would actually just create more noise. Uh, so and unless there is some critical dependency, some some event, some milestone that we have to achieve that these issues are required, don't feel that like you have to stop the world and stop everything that you are doing to like shift to a completely different thread just because an issue um, is tagged as critical. And, and yeah, so for contributors, like for first time contributors, uh, like a good way uh, to know how to help the project is just like filtering by help wanted uh, and then like seeing what is available out there for people to work on. And so you can, we can see that like, there's more than a hundred issues available that have enough information for someone from the community to jump into the project and start contributing with something valuable. I don't know if you get asked a lot, but I, I definitely get a lot of questions like, how can I help the APFS project? And so we created this label system to help people see uh, how they can contribute. All right, okay, so this was the waffle board part. Uh, is everyone uh, clear on how we organize work and how we, uh, well, communicate to others what we are working on? Sweet, I see some thumbs up, cool. Any questions so far, any comments? Could you send us a, a link to the, that waffle board? Ah, absolutely. So let me post it here on Zoom chat. And sure. I'll post it on the, the notes. Cool. Uh, it is also present on if you go to IPFS, just IPFS. 
one of the cool things, like, well, if you like metrics like me, one of the cool things one gets from the waffle board is the throughput graph that is now loading here. Okay, there you go. You can see the amount of things that are happening on the project. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Like, don't stress about it. It's just a metric <laughs> of like the development speed. Cool. All right. So the the next thing I wanted to bring up, if there are no questions about the waffle board, is pair programming sessions. Um, in the past, something that has worked pretty well for knowledge transfer is when someone is tackling some issue, and, and like there are there are things that like you can definitely go and learn by yourself and like read books and like read papers and, and read specifications and read the code base and like spend a lot of hours and like you will eventually get it for sure. Um, but there are things that like leap peer to peer design decisions or uh, the, how the integration is done and so on that are trapped still in our brains. Like it's a little bit of tribal knowledge still. And so one thing that has worked pretty well in the past when ramping up new people to the project is just like schedule time to do like a Zoom call and like screen share and just like tackle a issue together. Like um, we, of course it's hard because like we are all distributed and everyone has different time schedules, but like when we get a chance to like spend 30 minutes or 60 minutes to look into uh, a problem together, there is a lot of, ideas a lot of design decisions a lot of knowledge that the other person will learn just from the discussion right it's not that it doesn't mean necessarily that we prepare a lecture to explain how multiplexing when we peer to peer works but it's more okay there is a multiplexing issue let's dig through the code and like as one person is helping the other debug there is a lot of pieces of information a lot of nuggets that get transmitted and then this other person also learns how to like think or reason about the architecture of the stack of we peer to peer, and so um, it wasn't clear that this resource was available in the past. But I, I just want to make sure that everyone understands. Like, um, I I will put my Calendly uh, link here, which is PLWDS uh, Calendly link, and this is like a tool that you can use to request my time um, to to book something on my calendar, given that there is availability, that there is an interception between both availabilities. And if people that are working on a project also want to share a similar tool, which can be Calendly or Doodle, or even if you want to have office hours, that other people can join and like ask you questions, I think that will be very useful to, to have this knowledge transfer happen. Cool. Yeah, cool, cool. So, so, so again, um, this is just like a thing that's out there. It has worked pretty well in the past. You don't have to use it, but if you are blocked on something, let's hack on it together. Typically, it's a lot more fun, and, and we discover a lot of new stuff. All right, cool. So, this was the warm up section of today's call. Uh, we have nine minutes left. Uh, I hope that everyone, um, well got up to speed on how we track work on the project. And so let's do the, the actual stand-up. Sounds good? Cool, cool. So I'll stop screen share for now so that I can see everyone's face. Oh, so much better. Um, and the proposal on how to present this information is very simple. Uh, we go one by one, and I'll put here my name. And we can copy the bullet items. So, uh, so Volker, I'm just just like writing so that he, you can see what I was thinking on what can work. And and now I just have to answer these questions, right? And and by answering these questions, hopefully everyone gets a clear picture. Um, so from my end, this is my stand up. Uh, what I have accomplished last week, like I've been trying to just like go through all my notifications backlog and like answer all the questions that are out there in GitHub issues and pull requests. Uh, I have merged, uh, uh, well, reviewed and merged a ton of code that unblocked other work like the IPFS key and uh, IPFS DCTL and the interrupt tests. Uh, I've basically spent a lot of time helping other people like unblock their uh, current work threads. The, I, there is nothing that I'm blocked right now. Uh, and the thing that I think that it's more important for me to focus on for this week uh, 
uh, is refactoring leap peer to peer so that we can uh, then remove the centralized uh, renewable points by using leap peer to peer nodes as the connections. Um, there is an issue to track that. Uh, I'll tag myself to, to, to that issue. And the only um, in terms of this week, the only limitation in terms of my time is that I'm going to fly to Brussels to attend FOSDEM uh, Thursday. So my time is not uh, fully available this week. Um, by the way, if you are going to FOSDEM, let me know. But that's a separate turn. Like, tell me on IRC. Uh, and yeah, that's the update for me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask now or watch. Cool, okay. Uh, Dimitri, do you have to connect? Cool. All right. Um, so last week, I guess, I, I worked on, continue working on, on IPFS, the CTL, and interrupt tests, and trying to get um, circuit um, finally wrapped up and put it and done and tested and beat. Um no blockers. Well, there was a blocker with, uh, but I think we figured it out. Uh, it was basically Jenkins uh, with the IP uh, demon that was added was kind of conflicting. Uh, but that's fixed. It's not a blocker anymore. Um, there's the rest of the questions. And I lost the, uh, the other questions. The, the next one is, uh, what do you feel it's more, most important for you to work this week? Right, okay, so yeah, I guess it is uh, wrapping up everything circuit related, which I am, um, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be done in the next couple of days, I believe. Uh, if not today, then it's gonna be in, um, in the next couple of days. And then from there, I cannot really look into what else do I have assigned right now, but I will do that and I will um, pick the next uh, priority item. And that's it for me. Sweet, thank you. So um, there was like some parts where like your connection cut a little bit. Um, oh. Did you say you are going to tackle uh, circuits this week and it should be finished this week? Was, was that yes. it? So yeah, the plan was to get it done today, but with the, a little bit with the, some of the CI issues and some other things um, got a little bit blocked there. But I'm hopeful that by the end of today, I will have it. And with the docs that are, I think that's the only thing that's outstanding really. Uh, and just the tests, uh, getting all the CI screen. And we were almost there in terms of CI test. Sweet. Awesome, thank you, awesome work there. Uh, excited to have Circuit and to check one of the yes. two items <laughs> <laughs> that are missing for full browser connectivity. Yes. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Richard, you want to connect? And by the way, I'm just like saying games as I see them on screen. Uh, it, yeah, there is right. a Z garden. Um, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been um, working on the keychain stuff, which is basically allowing multiple keys um, that are encrypted in the store. Uh, read, read the issues. Uh, basically, I'll, I'm blocked right now on trying to get um, one set of tests to run. Uh, it's some interaction between IPS D, J, uh, IPS and IPS API. I really don't know what's going on <laughs> right mm. now. Um, I, uh, I'll send Dimitri a, a copy of what my issues are. Maybe he can help. And next is actually using the keychain to encrypt messages and sign them. Yay! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Only a month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All, all right. So. Um, if I understood correctly, um, the work is almost done. There is some blockers in especially testing, uh, like especially CI testing, right? There's like some yes. specific blockers on, on Windows stuff. Um, do you want to, could you post the issues to that you describe those problems to these notes? 
uh, and and then uh, I see that you already have talked with Dimitri to follow up and to solve those issues. But like, if we could track them so that uh, we can also check and help, it would be helpful. Yeah, the, I, uh, I I added a comment in the PR uh, last night. You probably haven't seen it yet. You got too much email. Uh, that describes the issue. Um, I'll mention Dimitri on it too. Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Um, by the way, one quick question: um, What is the status of Windows uh, like support? Uh, I know that like you did a ton of work, and like we got just a bit faster to run on Windows, but we haven't been very successful to get the same results on CI. Is that something that is in progress as well? Um, the only issue I know of in the CI is um, killing. Um, processes is that correct, Dimitri? Because of the signals, and and, and we've been yes. talking about it for the last couple of days, but I really haven't had a chance to look at it because I'm fighting these other issues on the keychain. Okay, okay. So we need to fix the signal issue, or probably just skip for now and then follow up on Dimitri's proposal to get signals to work in Windows in the same way that they work in in Linux and Mac. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, so we are one minute left from the call. Uh, are people okay spending like three extra or like five extra minutes today, even if it was the first? Cool. Uh, Jared, do you want to share an update? Uh, do you have, okay, so, sounds good. Uh, Johnny, do you have anything that you looked at just a bit fast wise? Yeah, so I've been working on um, this project IPID that I created, Interplanetary Identifiers for Decentralized Identities. So it sort of goes along with Richard's um, key store, key management. So I actually wrote it originally in Go, and so now I'm actually rewriting it in, in JavaScript. And so I, I certainly am interested in the keys. Uh, if you could post actually the issues in the repository, Richard, that you're actually working on. So I'm mostly doing signing JSON messages in a particular format uh, that for the uh, that are uh, good with the DID spec. Um, and I think it's um, publishing that on IPNS as a IPLD. And it's also, there's still, the, the, what's being blocked right now is the resolving IPLD objects within the, the, the window. So I spoke with Stephen about that um, when I met with him out in Palo Alto. I actually might be going there back in Palo Alto in a couple of days, so I might try to ping him again just to see what the status of IPLD is in resolving it. You can do it through the, the API, uh, I, uh, JS IPFS a, API, mm -hmm. uh, but you can't publish it to IPNS. And so I think that's, a, that's an uh, ongoing issue. Mm -hmm. Got it, it's true, especially because there is some work on the record spec that then will be the base for IPNS records and DHT records. Um, cool, cool. Like uh, Stephen is was actually here a minute ago. <laughs> uh, I'll ping him just to, to make sure that we have a follow up. Thank you. Uh, all right. Next up, we have Rob. Rob, do you have a would you like to share an update? Uh, I don't know that I necessarily have an update. It was my first time here. Um, mm -hmm. But just to introduce myself, uh, I'm not necessarily working particularly on JS IPFS, uh, but I'm doing work with Protocol Labs to help develop better overview introductory technical documentation that kind of connects all the pieces of IPFS for people. Um, and so I wanted to pop in here and get a sense of, of how everybody's doing work and how that connects in particular with the ongoing work in this project. Um, and hopefully as part of a result of this, um, we can find ways to encourage better documentation practice go, practices going forward. Hopefully that's just like creating a good architecture for you to all slot things into, but also, you know, uh, what can we do in the work process here to help make sure uh, better documentation happens in the future after I'm gone. Awesome, thank you. Um, there is one issue that I'm not sure if it is on your radar right now. Uh, the awesome, uh, Endeavor IPFS documentation, API documentation. And, and that is like a work that we did last year on creating the tooling um, to support automatic doc generation from JS docs. And so it is a, a very large issue with pointers to many repos on like work that is like off them. Some of the repos are like done. Uh, essentially, we, we need a, a little bit more direction there, uh, like just 
reevaluate if that's still the right direction, like and the right tooling. And if it is, uh, well, we, we need some help to get to the finish line, essentially. Awesome. Thank you. I will definitely dig through this. Yeah, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Uh, all right, next on my screen is Volker. Volker, do you want to share an update? And I can take notes for you while you share your update. All right. Um, yeah, so um, last week uh, I've been working on, yeah, still getting up to speed with the whole IPLD stuff. And yeah, so I've kind of finished the JS IPLD Bitcoin format implement implementation and the Zcash. Um, I'm currently blocked uh, due to uh, David because he needs to review a pull request so I can publish the Zcash um, package on NPM. And next week I will, yeah, again, go through the spec and the open issues and just, yeah, Polish IPLD a bit. Um, yeah, that's all. All right, thank you. Um, make sure to post the link to that pull request. I, I think I know what it is, but I just want to make sure I look at the right one so that I can unblock you as soon as possible. Um, also, uh, so I know that you have been like working on polishing all the IPLD code base. Um, there are still some hiccups on using the DAG API, especially from the CLI, because of the changes that happen internally that now the CLI, given that you didn't have enough tests, things kind of like change underneath and now the CLI doesn't really work well for all the formats. Is there, um, are you hoping to get some work done on the, the CLI for JSABFS this week or? or? Yes, uh, the, this is actually what I will work on as you are saying it, I remembered it, that this was my plan. So I will, will work on that you can do uh, queries, like path queries on Bitcoin and Zcash to the IP, JS, IP, FS, CLI. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right, thank you so much. Okay, we are one minute from our new, oh, our, it's already 10.35. Do people want to continue? Like, is, is this being useful? So maybe five more minutes? Okay, cool. Uh, Victor, go, wanna take, go yeah, next? So I haven't worked on any JavaScript projects directly, uh, but what I'm working on currently is to get all the projects built on, on Jenkins, and then eventually we can migrate away from Travis, and we can migrate away from Circle, so everything gets a bit faster. Um, the most important uh, <clears throat> build right now is for JS IPFS. Um, so that is pending the uh, the Windows fixes uh, that I was unsure on how to fix as well. Once we have that, um, then we can start uh, doing more solid interrupt testing between all the different implementations and API clients and all that stuff, which I seen that Dimitri <coughs> started working on as well. So that's it. So we, yeah, super excited for all that work, making tests so much faster. Uh, small request, while you are at it, can, can, can we just agree to like remove Travis from the equation as soon as possible because it's so slow? And can we also just do coverage testing on Circle? Because right now we have the, I know that there's a token management problem and like Circle does coverage really well and it's fast. So we would have Jenkins to do all the tests and then Circle CI to run the coverage tests and publish the results to cover else. Yeah. Um, I, do, I do think now when I did the, the uh, website automation stuff, we have some secrets management and oh. we are not super careful maybe about people being able to upload like coverage reports. It's not like a super, security hassle if people do that. So we could do the coverage report on Jenkins as well, I believe. And then we can remove both Circle and Travis, and then we will have super fast bills. Awesome, thank you. Uh, all right, next up is Enric. Are, are you around? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, so during last week, I've worked on the stats spec on interface, interface IPFS core also on the repo and I had the MFS file spec 
I also implemented it on the JS IPFS API. And I think that's it. Anything that you're blocked or that you are hoping to get this week? Uh, I think I will start to do the stats spec, uh, implement the, start, the stats interface on JS IPFS because it's one of the things that is needed for IPFS desktop to work with JS IPFS. Sweet. Sounds good. I love that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Uh, cool. Next up, uh, power source. Uh, no, just listening. In. OK, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, Nunu, are you there? Hey. There. hey. So last week, I didn't have much time, but I'm working on um, on adding support to JS IPFS wrap with directory. It is needed for an IPFS companion uh, UX issue that is right now in the download of file. Um, it doesn't support it. When the user downloads the file to the browser, it is dash. It doesn't preserve the file name. So with this, if we add this feature, then it's possible to in IPFS companion that support to when the user downloads the file, the directory will be the file name will be preserved. Awesome. So that you get the extension so that you have the the content type, right? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Um, well, I didn't hear you say any blockers, so I guess you are unblocked to continue. No, I just have uh, some doubts. Right now, I, mm. I'm, so uh, IPFS Companion needs um, support, uses JS IPFS API. So it, uh, it implements the interface core API. And right now, I'm updating the tests. Uh, Go IPFS doesn't have any kind of interface interface core support, right? Uh, could you say the, the last five words again? Go IPFS right now doesn't have any core interface core support API. Uh, yeah, go, go IPFS like from the Go programming language, no, but like from just IPFS API, yes, because it's the same thing. Okay. Okay, thanks. So I, I'm not sure if I understood your right. questions, but like if you want to post here links to issues where you have a, your questions so that, that we can review and make sure you, you get your questions answered. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Lytle, you are the last one here uh, on my screen. Oh, I'm also listening. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, I, I know you're pretty busy with IPFS in my browser's work. Um, <laughs> Cool, so this is it. Uh, we took 10 minutes more than what was planned, but again, we I have all of the warm up, which was pretty much 20 minutes. So I expect next week we can do this maybe even like 15 minutes, well, depending on how many people show up. Um, what are things happening? Uh, we didn't get to review what are the critical issues that no one is handling. Uh, let's make sure to do that next week. Um, as so that we, we understand what are the top priorities for the, the project right now. Any any final remarks, any questions, any comments? Everyone feels that they know what they need to work on this week? Is it clear? All right. Cool. Thank you so much for joining. And yeah, this was the first JSIPFS Dev Team Core Weekly Sync Up Long Names and Economists. That's the model here. Uh, enjoy your week and see you again. Uh, next Monday. <laughs> See you. Bye. Take care, right. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.